Hey, buddy. Did you oh, miss? I, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were here already. I apologize. It won't happen again. Uh. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Why weren't you looking at me before? Are you okay? Look, look at her. Look at her. She's worried. As if she knows something bad's about to happen. She wants to tell me, but she can't. Because it's in her programming. What? What's wrong? What's wrong, Chloe? What's wrong? Talk to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Talk to me, Chloe. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me. No. But, but why? Because. Because I. I. I hope you're okay today. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. <gasps> oh. I feel the same way, Chloe. I feel the same way. Hello, everyone. My name is Squid Jake. And welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Now, I played a level where I find out her name, but I didn't get a chance to put it in the last video because there wasn't enough time space in it. So, what you're about to see in the beginning, that was pre-recorded. And after that, it's all new to me. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, there's Hank. Hank's my friend. Who you calling, Hank? Why am I always in the car with you? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Ooh. See? Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Hmm. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Ooh, Kamsky. Why do you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. Ooh. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Maybe he Everybody knows something about RA9. Deviance, it's him. What if Kara was... What if Kara's RA9? Because I think she was the first to turn Deviant. Or maybe she was seeing it before, before she broke. Oh! <gasps> hey, it's you! Or a model uh, like you. I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Hey, Scarlet. Okay. I don't know if that's the Scarlet from the menu. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, I will. <laughs> I definitely will. Wait for the android. Okie dokie. Nice. Sincere. You're right. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How do I you feel? I am. Um. Impatient. 
Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Damn. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, yeah? Like what? <laughs> Talk to me, Hank. Nope. Don't sit down, you fucktard. Can I talk to you? No. Wait for the android. Alright, I'll wait. Glad you will see you now. Huh? Oh. Thank you. Can I scam you? No. Ooh. Hello Mr. there. Kamsky. Why is the pool red? Just a moment, please. That shit. Oh. Hi. Hello. Can I scan? No. <laughs> So this guy created androids, huh? Or at least he created the first one. So, uh... We just, uh... No. Okay. Well, you're not even, they're not even talking. <laughs> or, they're not making any noise. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Um... We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Contagious disease. Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines <laughs> you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about me? Whose side are you on? Um, neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. Oh. But you. What do you really want? Um. Trouble. What I want is not important. Chloe? Chloe? Oh, sure I like you already. With the Turing test. The Here what? Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. What are you Back doing? This, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young. And beautiful forever. Ugh. Flower that will never wither. This guy's creepy. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? <gasps> um. 
Oh no, please don't. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What are you what are you making me do? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. No! Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Well, fuck you then. I'm not doing anything. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh, man. Who you are. No. An obedient machine. A living being. Endowed with free will. Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. No, fuck you! Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant, dude. I'm. I'm not a deviant. I make my own choices. Machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. No. You showed empathy. Maybe. But I'm not killing her because you're telling me to, dude. That's my choice. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. This guy's sick. Bye, ladies. By the way. What? I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Hmm. Oh, that guy was creepy. Why didn't you shoot? Seriously. I just saw that girl's eyes. And I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Oh, yeah, fuck off, I Hank. Done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, Hank, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Car's like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, man. Oh, uh, I hope I hope that got everything. And Chris survived. Ninety-one percent analyze painting. Hundred percent talk to Hank. Eighty-five percent spared Chloe. So that's your name, Chloe. I like you. Eighty-five percent Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Oh, thank you, Hank Poe. Oh, are we back with Marcus? Already, huh? Oh, we're playing as Marcus. Like, right now. Can we sit down? No? Oh. I am brave, I am bruised, I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be, this is me. God damn right, this is- <gasps> Can we play the piano again? Yes! Let's play that shit, Liberace! And this happens to be a fold-up chair.
Well, that's it. Boo! Give me more! Boo! Oh, he misses Carl. I miss him too. Oh, we about to do a leap of faith here. Hey, it's Hope. North's my companion. I was wondering where you were. Man, North. Think. I needed to think. I like it here. Oh, yeah? I come here often. Yeah, like. It's like being alone with the world. Oh. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at mm. the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. And I don't want that. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen. What was your life like before Jericho? Hmm. Well, there was this old man named Carl. Tell him the truth. <clears throat> I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Come on, girl. You can trust me. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. You're doing good. Come on, girl. I was nothing. Oh, come on. A doll in a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Oh. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, North. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Ooh. There, now you know everything. Hey, hey, no judgment. I shouldn't have told you. Connect. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's like Tarzan and Jane. <laughs> I I saw your memories. <gasps> Carl's house. Lover in his studio. And I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Baby, come back. Baby, come back to me. We're lovers now, North. There's no denying it. <gasps> oh, yeah, baby. Bring out the hood. Oh. Marcus, please don't do this. I don't know what we're doing, baby, They'll but understand. we gotta do it. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Rally your people, convert more androids. Join us. 
the more we are, the stronger our message. All right, let's do it. What the hell is that? Hello, people. You're free. Nice. Go to streets. What else can we do? Convert more androids. Oh, there's one over there. Sir, you are free. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Are we missing anybody? Hmm. Just one more person. Two more people. Come with us. You are free. You're awake now. Let's go. We are androids. We are free. Here are we are people, and here are shouts. Hey, you. You're free. You're free now. Hey, where do Whoa. you think you're going? You get back here. You Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Yeah. Yeah, walk away, fat bitch. You're free. Hey, any more Android people? Hey, buddy. You're free. You're free. Hey, buddy. To block the street. You're free. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, it's about to go down. Wait, open the mantle cover. Where are we going exactly? Oh, sorry guys, I forgot about you. You don't have to obey them. You're free. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I want to get every android. Although I'm pretty sure I got all of them, right? Did I forget anybody? Oh. Nope. Alright, time to go. I guess. Convert more androids. What the shit? You can do it without free now. touching them? Oh, hey, it's Kara. Well, not the real Kara, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Holy shit, this guy's a god. Seriously, holy fuck. It's like the Million Android March. You're free. You get your freedom. You get your freedom. Everybody gets freedom. 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 Freedom.
You're free! And you're free! Everybody free! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, did I get you? Yeah, I probably got you. You're free! And you're free! You're free! You're free! You're free! And my people. They are people. We are people. We have a dream. And you better believe it, buddy! What the hell am I doing here? What are you doing here? I don't think so. I don't think so, coppers. Advance! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> That's right. Walk away. This bed's is twelve four fifty seven. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. We are people. We are people. Damn right we are. Here come the cops. Here come the ignorant people. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. Oh, you Without son of a bitch. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. You're an illegal you gathering. Immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. No, we we're not killing them. War. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Uh, can't we just? Can't we just go? Let's just go. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. <gasps> oh, fuck you. Follow me.
sons of bitches. They're sympathetic. Hey, they started this. They shot first. We chose to walk away. But then they said, no, we're gonna kill them anyway. Fucking dicks. Alright, let's see what happened. North is my lover. I am the leader. Public opinion sympathetic. Josh is neutral. And that's fine. 31% looked at the broken mirror, 100% walked on the beam, 55% played the piano. <coughs> North arrives, 86% shared memories, which will unlock something, 94% shared past, 95% asked North about past. I uh, guess there were other pasts that we could have locked in the mall. 70% convert Android vendor, 93% convert personal Android, 96% convert security Android, 98% convert Android cleaner, 50% convert parked Androids, prepare the march, convert personal Android 99%, 41% be calm with owner, convert delivery Androids, blah, 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 start the march, convert AX400, 99% convert Android, 72% hack screens, 99% chance, 100% policemen blocks march. Okay, that was 100% for everybody. 51% ignored. Reach the plaza, police block the march, 100%. 26% leave, 61% stand at your ground, 12% charge, police will fire 26%. Sacrifice self. Fuck that, I'm not sacrificing myself. 19% charge, 23% ran away, 44% sacrificed self. Well, that was on the majority. 30% won the fight. Oh, cool. Police retreat, Marcus defeats the police 30%. And my friends are still behind. Let's move on along. Connor, what up, buddy? Talk to Amanda. Now it's snowing? Oh, I mean, it is winter time. But where is Amanda? Yeah, she's probably gonna be mad at me for not shooting Chloe. Well, if that's the case, then she can go fuck herself. I wasn't gonna shoot Chloe like that. Regardless of his opinion about her, I wasn't gonna shoot her because some asshole told me to. Connor don't work like that. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Hey, they attacked first. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. 
the FBI is taking over. Oh. But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can. Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. No! I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. But, but, I like Hank. Hank's my friend. Hank! Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't want to call you son of a bitch right now, but my programming prevents me from doing so. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Man, this sucks. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I don't want to. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. Oh, Connor. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Oh. What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Thank you. No doubt. I know we're on the right side. Human Wait, no. Created us. no, 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 not that's not. I, I, I agree with him. I'm not. No, wait, no doubt, no doubt. I thought, no doubt about what he said. Oh, no, fuck that. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. Oh, you did. This is our story. Our story. Really. So it's our story now. Huh. Got something to say, Scarlet? No? Come on, Scarlet. Talk to me, Scarlet. Scarlet! Come on, Scarlet. Come on. Talk to me. I love you. Damn, kiss them every time. Hmm. If only there was some way we could make her talk. Maybe. What? Maybe we should leave things as they are. What are you, what are you talking about? Of course we have to continue. What's wrong? As you wish. What's wrong? Seriously, what the fuck? Okay, this is getting weird. Why is Chloe breaking the fourth wall? She knows something's about to go down. It's almost as if she doesn't want me to die. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be... Deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Defective regrets. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. We're friends. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. 
Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. <laughs> Don't waste any time at the FBI. Why couldn't we have Norman Jaden? can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Please. Key to the basement is on my desk. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Hank. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> okay, okay. Hurry to the arc. You fucking cocksucker. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> what it, the fuck? Oh my god. Hank, you are a trooper. Alright, gotta, gotta scurry, gotta scurry. Hey, Connor. Uh, I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic pricks around here. The asshole, I'm talking to you. Go fuck yourself, Brick. All right. Um, solve the case. Maybe Connor's RA9. Hank's password. Oh. Um what would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. How about Cole? Fucking password. Um date of birth. Stupid idea. Nope. It's not Hankish enough. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Ridiculous. No one would have a password like that. Um fucking password. Oh! <laughs> nice. Ugh. Where oh. is Jericho? Is that the answer's here somewhere? It's definitely we definitely gotta we gotta examine the TV station with Marcus. Yeah. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Analyze my components needed for reactivation. 398V, functional bio components. Impossible reactivation. Hmm, not what I need. What about you, good sir? The deviant who took a child hostage. Ooh, you got it. I'll just take that. Thank you. Wait, I should probably look at these, right? No? Alright. Hey, Salmon. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Trick. I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. Uh oh. Only one of us. Fuck. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Damn it. Simon. Damn it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. I need a I need a voice modulator. I don't want to take that. Put back. Hmm. 
Marcus. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Ooh. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Ooh. Nice. Hey. Right. Oh, Simon. Who's there? Don't worry. It's me, Marcus. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Yep. Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've gotta leave now. But he knows Jericho. where that is. Yes. Yes, of course. Seriously, Simon? You're falling for that? Again, Marcus, don't leave. Sorry, I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case, and now it's gonna be definitive. Whoa. Oh, you son of a bitch! I have a way to do this too. Hmm. Sophisticated as fuck, and you are not. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm now! Uh oh. Connor, you better go. Oh, we're done. <laughs> okay. Ninety-six percent Penkin Perkins arrives. Sixty-four percent Hank wants to help. Sixty-four percent Hank punches Perkins. Ninety-five percent created a diversion. Forty-six percent annoyed Gavin. Sixty-seven percent Gavin is suspicious. Ninety-five percent in the evidence room. Found in the nest. Found in the. Found in partners, died in previous scenes, body of Carlos Android, 76%, 95% Daniel's body, Rupert's diary, 85%, Carlos Android's statue, 93%, killed in the public enemy, Simon's body, 25%, Marxist broadcast, 95%, React reactivate Simon, 21%, interrogate Simon, 21%. Impersonate Marcus, 51%. Trick the Deviant, 50%. Download Jericho Key, 71%. Cool. Locate Jericho, 93%. Gavin returns, 65%. 63% won the fight. Connor incapitated Gavin, 63%. Think really good. Like, really, really good. But, uh, let's see. Sympathetic, software instability, I still don't know what that is. Hank's my friend, Amanda is neutral. Well, fuck Amanda. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all mean a lot to me. If you're new, please do like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch at James underscore Copperfield. And I will see you in the next one.